Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Hi, the kids. I'm Q, the Costa Rican, and today we are back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet random Wi-Fi battles. Today, we're using the same team we used yesterday, but we're trying to force Dragon Dance Lapras to pick up as many KOs as it possibly can do. Uh, we gave it the loaded dice, so that Icicle Spirit is going to be a guaranteed base 100 Ice-type move that cannot miss, and it can sometimes be a little bit better if we get the fifth Icicle Spirit. Uh, but regardless... Uh, it's looking like it can be pretty fun. If you guys want to check out all the intricacies of the EV spreads, they will be in the description down below. Look at the PokePace link. Click it. Boom. You got the EV spreads. But yeah, we have Jolly Max Speed Max Attack Golurk with Dual Stab plus Dynamic Punch and Terra Blast Fairy holding the Life Orb because I wanted to be able to switch out my moves. I didn't want to be Choice Bandit even though that's going to be doing insane damage. I figured eh, it'll be fine. Let's just be Life Orb. We have the homie Choice Specs Raikou, which is one of the only Electro types in the game to also naturally get water coverage. I'm looking at you, Belly Bolt. You're the other one. There might be another one, excluding Rotom, of course. Um, but yeah, Skull, very strong water type move that has a chance to burn. So if they want to switch into like their physical attack and ground type, we can not only hit them super effectively, but also potentially burn them, which could be really nice. Now we got Aura Sphere for like Meow Skarada coverage um, with the Terra Water, of course. Up next, we got Cinderace as our hazard control because I didn't want to rock out with a spinner. I've been using a lot of spinners lately. And, you know, they're really good on a team. I, I 100%, you know, I agree. But I was like, screw it. Let's go court change with uh, Power Ball, Sucker Punch, and U-Turn. And then we have Young Adaptability Silk Scarf Porygon Z, guys. If you missed yesterday's video, this Pokemon popped the fuck off with Hyper Beam. It's so cool uh, rocking out with two normal type moves, spamming Tri-Attack before. And then if they're just out of range of Tri-Attack, boom, we're clicking that Hyper Beam, baby. And then we got Dark Pulse, of course, for the Ghost type coverage. Uh, a few of you in the comment section were asking why I'm Terra Normal and not like Terra Dark or something like that. If you guys don't know how adaptability works with terrestrialization, once you Terra out of your normal typing as a Porygon Z, like let's say you do go Dark typing, the adaptability boost at that point will only apply to your Dark Pulse. It no longer applies to Tri-Attack or Hyper Beam. So Dark Pulse is only there to be able to hit Ghost types. Everything else we're going to be using our normal type move. So that's kind of why I didn't want to be a different Terra type other than normal on Porygon Z specifically. And then, of course, we have the ground type Lapras that could potentially Terra into or Terra into ground and Dragon Dance in front of opposing electric types. And then, of course, the homie Araquanid, Max Attacker. We want to be doing damage. We might click Sticky Webs if we if we need them. Um, obviously, we want Court Change those away from us or onto us. If we do do that, we're going to like not use Araquanid like like immediately to get up webs. It's honestly just going to be a, it's, it's more so a breaker. And then a webs are a Weber second, you know what I'm saying? But regardless, this is the team that we are going to be using to try and find some random battles. Once again, if you guys want to use the team for yourself, the team ID is in the right hand corner 7P7TF9. Let me know in the comment section down below if you ended up using the team and how it went for you, as well as any other new Pokemon you guys might want to see me use in the future. Let me know that in the comment section down below. But with that being said, guys, I hope you all subscribe if you're new. I hope you all like the video, and I hope you all enjoy the battles. All right, y'all. Here we are with the first battle using the same team we used the other day. Hoping that Lapras can pop the fuck off. Uh, if that Whimsicott is not Prankster, we totally can. Or if we just Dragon Dance before it comes in and then start spamming our moves. Our m -m moves. It actually looks super possible. Wait. Whenever Ra Raichu just comes in, we just dance. 100%. That's what we're going to do. Um, Regardless... I do like Raikou as a lead. Once, actually, no, no, I take that back. Cinderace is a little safer. Second is U-turn on whatever, and then go from there and hopefully approach a Lapras endgame. Let's see how it goes, guys. Like I said, we could totally Terra in front of that Raichu, so I really hope they don't lead Raichu because I would love to Terra in front of it. I would love to just sack a Pokemon to Raichu and just dance with my Lapras. I would love it. I would absolutely love it. This Lapras set is pretty fun. Knee. Uh, I saw it in... Well, obviously it wasn't loaded dice in Gen 8. But in Generation 8, Dragon Dance Lapras did some things once or twice. Also, super long loading screen. What's happening? One eternity later. Okay, we made it. Let's go. That took a minute. Jesus Christ. Alright, what did they lead off with? I let off with Cinderace, I think. And U-Turn is just super free. They go into the slow bro. Which is pretty interessante. Um, I could totally get this fire off a Pyro Ball. But if this guy is mad fizz def, I don't really want to stay in and deal with that. So I'm just going to U-Turn. Uh, probably into my uh, Golurk. Because this 
I mean, I don't know what this guy's gonna do. They could set up Trick Room. They could. They are. They do look to be a little defensive. They could set up Trick Room. They could just click. I guess. I guess they could click a Water move here, which would kind of suck. Um, I could also go into this if I'm feeling it. But I kind of want to keep this guy around a little bit, kind of. So yeah, we're just gonna go into Golurk and see if they actually have a Water move. I don't think we would die to one Water move, but what do I know? They Psychic Terrain. Okay. Okay. Does somebody have a Psychic Seed of some sort? They're lefties. Or Black Sludge, whatever, same shit. We're just gonna get off a very free... Um, I could say EQ, but I guess Poltergeist, honestly. This will die. Very free Poltergeist. Let's go. That is gonna die. Hell yeah, you love to see it. So who's coming in is the question. Who's got the Psychic Seed? I'm very curious to find out what their game plan with this is. Maybe they wanted to click Expanding Force after, but like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I assume the Slowbro get, got Expanding Force, I assume. Most Psychic types got access to it after the second DLC. They go out into Whimsicott with the no Psychic C. Okay, I kind of want to see what its item is. And I don't really have like a one-to-one -one switch in with Araquidid. Um, I, yeah, so I, gu I guess I'm like, we're weak to a lot of other things on their team besides Kamoa and Raichu. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click Poltergeist and see what they go for. They go for Night Days. Okay, that did a lot of damage. Is that normal? Is that normal? Night Days is like Dark Pulse, but like less effective. Uh, regardless, Whimsicott. What the hell is Whimsicott's speed here? Is it, is it slower than... It's slower than, uh, than what's it called? Than uh, Chinder Ace, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We just got into Chinder. Okay, that was crazy. Night Days. I'm, I'm surprised at O-Code. I'm going to be honest with you. There's got to be Specs Whimsicott. I'm going to click Powerball. Uh, unless that... Um... Oh, cool. I was going to say, unless the... I was gonna say, unless the, uh, fuck, I was gonna, I wanna call it Zamazenta, but it, dragon fighting Kamoo. Unless the Kamoo is, uh, is, um, bulletproof, this is, there's no switch ins to this, so. Unfortunately, yeah, there was Sash. God damn it. Unfortunately, we are gonna get two killed by Night Days. Oh, that's why. Okay, it was never a Whimsicott this whole time. Okay. They just keep going for it. Wow. Now I'm not surprised that it killed. I am upset that I. I'm here. Um, the weirdness disappeared from the battlefield. Can I dance in front of this? Zork. Can I dance in front of this? I feel like I should be able to. I just want to go for it, man. I'm just sick and tired of this. You know what I'm saying? I just want to dance. Damn, how... I did 85. Okay, so it's a stronger... Never mind, it's a stronger um, Dark Pulse. Yeah, I can totally dance in front of this. Night Day should not be doing that much to me. Unless they go raw. Unless they go raw into Whimsicott, this should not be a fact. This should not be a problem. I'm gonna do it. Now they could get Thunderbolt, but I don't think that kills either. Let's go. Oh, that would have done some damage. But we got lucky, so. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Lapras. That wouldn't have killed. Oh wow, that yeah, that wouldn't have done a whole lot at all. Oh wait, never mind. What am I saying? I mean, I mean, I still would have survived, but that into Sucker Punch might have been able to do it. Uh, regardless, we click Liquidation. We're not gonna reveal the Ascal Spear yet. We want them to be surprised. We want them to go into like Kamoo and get speared. Let's see what their next course of action is here. There's a Dragon. Da what do I say? Do they Terra? That's the question. A part of me kind of wants to just Hera as well and just go for uh, Dragon Dance because in the event that they um, do Clangor Soul here, I'd like to be faster on the following turn. So I think I am going to do that. I'm going to Terra and then Dance. If they don't tear, I'm going to be very surprised here. Okay, we tear it. Do they tear as well? Um, I'm just doing this so I can tank a fighting move. I'm very surprised if they just don't tear it here. 
Like, I would genuinely be shocked. If they iron defense, that's also silly. But let's see. I mean, let's just see what they do. Okay, they do Terra. Perfect. So, if they're Terra Steel, uh, we're sitting pretty. They do Terra Poison. Even better. Even better. Let's go. And let's see if they Clangerist as well. Just to make it funnier. We danced again. What do they click? Like, Boom Burst shouldn't do that much to me. Clanging Scale shouldn't do that much to me. They Clang Result. Perfect. Amazing. I'm glad I did what I did. I'm glad I did what I did. Perfect. Amazing. Things you love to see. Um, So, yeah. Now we just click Earthquake and Prosper. Even at plus one defense for them. Uh, we're at plus two. We are... Look at us. We are 100% doing damage here. Let's go for it. The Crocodile might be Intimidate, but I feel like it's actually more likely to be like Scarf Moxie or some shit, which is a really good set. I, my favorite Kamo, Kamo, my favorite Crocodile set this generation so far is very easily Scale Shot with Moxie. It's so cool. It's such a random Scale Shotter, which if Lapras got Scale Shot, I would have put it on it, on the team. And it probably also would have been Terra Dragon, but I don't think it gets Scale Shot. I'm pretty sure when I was making the team, I, I saw that anyways. Uh, but yeah, even this does, even this, if this does intimidate us, which it doesn't, uh, we have the spear. We're we're good. We're sitting pretty. We're sitting pretty. Get him, Lapras. Yo, it did it. Let's go. I was gonna, I was like, man, I'm gonna use, keep using this team until Lapras or Golurk pops off, and I'm low key glad it was Lapras before Golurk. I love Golurk. Don't get me wrong, but Dragon Dance Lapras is just, just, just a little bit better. Or it sounds a little bit funnier. So. Hell yeah. Uh, everything's dead now. 100%. We thought we were going to set up in front of Raichu. No, sir. It was Night Dazer. The Whimsicott comes in a little all too late. They could stun spore me, I suppose. But at this position, I'm just Icicle Spearing. Yeah, yeah. It's it's over. It's over. We got that loaded dice on us, man. It's over. Dragon Dance Lapras, baby. Let's fucking go. And then last mon is Raichu. And they will just be dropping to Icicle Spear. Not even going to EQ. Just in case there's Sash. Another Sash user. Just in case. That is funny. That is that the Zoroark really did catch me off guard. First off, I should have known Whimsicott didn't get night days. And secondly, I should have known that wouldn't have killed. <laughs> like what was I, I I was tweaking. I was like, wow, night days. I, I forgot honestly, I forgot what night days was. I know it can miss, right? Is that a thing? I'm pretty sure I know it can miss, but it's a little stronger. That's why I always just run Dark Pulse instead. But hell yeah, let's go. Lapras with a game one sweep. GG's to Rimuru. Rimuru Tempest. Shout out to, uh, reincarnated as a slime, I guess. Um, it's probably somebody's real name too. Who knows? Regardless, let's move on to the second battle. Ooh, all right. Here we are with the second battle. Very colorful team, uh, to say the least. Raikou looks exceptional here to scald the ground types and do other stuff for the, to the other types. Um, Cinderace also looks really good here, has a nice speed tier. Uh, if they lead Gliscor, I'd be surprised, but they totally could. Um, I'm kind of going to lead Cinderace, but if that Rotom is Scarf, it becomes a little bit of an issue. I would like to get rid of it before I try to go for Lapras. Um, so actually, maybe we just lead with PZ and break. The only bad thing I think is like, Infernape's not a bad lead against me. But I guess even if they do lead Infernape, I kind of just sack something regardless of who's in unless it's raikou um so maybe i'll lead raikou maybe just we'd like we just lead raikou and if they lead rotom uh we'll see what, what happens there because <laughs> i would assume they just volt switch but if they're scarf but if they're defensive they probably stay in so we'll see and just click hydra or something we'll just see what uh what they do lead off with and we'll make our decision accordingly but yeah really cool looking team it's like, it's definitely Moldbreaker Drill, which is pretty cool. Hits Rotoms. Um, the Superior could be a huge threat. And Toxapex and Gliscor both look very annoying. But we do have Lapras who can deal with both of them, kind of. They do lead off with Toxapex, so amazing for us. I would be shocked if they stayed in here. They have two ground types in the back, guys. Like, there's just no way they stay in. There's just no way. You know, like, there's just no way. I'm gonna click Scald, and I'm probably gonna regret it. But there's just no way, right? 
There's just no way. I guess I can go into Porygon Z in front of either of those ground types. But like, there's there's simply no way they stay in. Thank God. Okay. Like, there's just no way. Right? Like, they, I, even if you're a Toxapex player, there's just no way. It'd be funny if we get a burn here. Um, This is going to be super effective and specs damage. So, let's see. Do we get a burn? Survey says. No. Unfortunate. But, we do get off a nice Scald. So, I'll click it again. No reason not to. Stops them from getting up hazards. Uh, if they want to go back out on Apex, getting a burn on that is also good residual. So, that's not the end of the world for us. They could also make the superior play, if that's what they're feeling like doing. Um, and then we can uh, act accordingly. Because we, we always have um, Cinderace to revenge the superior. So long as they're not Terrifier. Uh, so they do go to Superior. Do we get a Cheeky Burn on this? Raikou breaking down the team. Look at Tiny Superior. Raikou breaking down the team. Not breaking down the team. Um, so yeah, I could just make the play into this immediately. Which I think I am going to do. And then see what happens from there. Big Chinderace. Um, I think here I would U-turn. Oh, they Leech Seed. And they miss. Very good for us. Yeah, I'm definitely going to U-turn now. Um, I'd be shocked if they stayed in. Wow, are they really running like a stall team? <laughs> like, is that really what's going on with Toxapex and Gliscor? And Leech Seed Superior? I guess, like, Leech Seed Superior isn't necessarily, like, a stall thing. But, um, over Leech Storm. Or, I guess, clicking it there over Leech Storm is kind of weird. Because I feel like Leech Storm was really free against my team. Uh, regardless, we're getting a very strong bug boosted U-turn off. No Rocky Helmet. Can we find out anything about that set? On Rotom Wash. Because that did less than half. Like, slightly less than half. So they're not Super Fizz Def. Wow, they're like Omega Offensive, actually. So they probably are They probably are Scarfed. Yeah, that was like a, a slightly high roll for Scarf. So... Um, against Scarfed Guy... I kind of want to just break with Porygon Z, I think. I think that's my best bet. And try attack will get the kill here. Um, and we'll see if they're Scarfed or not. Because if they're Specs, then we get a kill. And if they're Scarfed, they don't kill us. And we click uh, try attack. So, no one wants to switch into this try attack is the main goal. Is the main thing that we need to take away from this experience. So, yeah. Let's just click try attack. And see what they want to do. They go into Excadrill. We just keep spamming try attack. They trick. We'll take the Scarf. We'll take that. You will be getting two a KO'd. Or you'll probably just get Oko'd right now. I guess if they are Mold Breaker Drill, they could totally go into it now and get a free SD. But as long as we don't let them to Rapid Spin, we have stuff for that. And we resist both of its stabs with Araquanid. So we're actually okay here, I think. If they do go out into... If they go out into anyone besides Drill, we're staying in and trying to and try attacking. Like, I don't give a damn. But if they go out in a drill, I might go hard rack with it. I just might. And just click liquidation. And see where the day takes us. They're going to Glide Score. Okay. I mean, I know you're a Glide Score and everything, but like, I'm adaptability boosted try attack. Like, I'm just going to keep clicking it. Click protect if you want to. I think you die, regardless. But we'll see. We'll see. Yep, they click protect. Perfectly fine. I'm just, I'm just going to click it again. There's no reason not to. I'd be a fool if I didn't. Especially because, like, it too, like I don't get O-Code by this at all. Like, there's no way. And we definitely 2 a KO you, if not O-Code you from right here. I, I wouldn't be surprised. if, Because I think I guess the way it took that Scald, it probably is Spadef. So it probably does eat a hit. But, I mean, I'm cool with just clicking Try Attack. It's so free. If they want to switch into Drill now, they could potentially get Burned. Uh, which they do switch out. Okay, is it Drill? Is it Pex? Everybody wants to know. Why do I think that... I just thought there was, like, a cat next to me. But there's definitely not. Anyways, let's see how much this, dude, this does. Yeah, that's good damage. That's good damage. I'll go for it again. I mean, I'm just going to keep going for it. Like, I don't see a reason not to. I do not see a reason not to. Porygon Z breaking the team down is super nice. Rotom being gone is also super good for, for Lapras. La the Lapras Dragon Dance endgame is actually looking very viable. So, yeah, we just click Try Attack again. They probably click Toxic or something. Yep. I mean, that's whatever. Like, I'm just going to keep clicking Try Attack. Like, this is, this is not that big of a deal to me. Losing PZ like this is not that big of a deal. PZ already had his video yesterday. You know what I mean? We can we can give somebody else the, the, the spotlight. Um, and if we get a 
like paralysis here like this actually and get a full para after like this could be super clutch or freeze even we can like freeze para or burn and we've clicked it three times already and nothing's happened so we're bound to get one oh now they go drill and we get a burn surely life score oh you're you're die you're dead for sure let's find out let's find out dead let's go glide score gone didn't really matter like i said we had lapras Lapras was going to pop off against that anyways. Um, I wish I, I hope I can dance eventually. They refuse to go into their normal resist, which is Excadrill. I don't know why. I don't know why they refuse, but they do refuse. They refuse to go into it. But yeah, getting rid of these ground types is super good for, for, um, for Raikou. So like, I'm super fine with this. They go into Infernape. Are they going to be double scarfed up? I'm just going to click it again. Like, I just don't see a reason I shouldn't. So I'm just going to do it. Like, if they're double scarf, that's crazy. But, I mean, that's also fine. They're not. Oh, they're Mach Punch. Duh. I didn't even think about Mach Punch. Silly me. Tricks are for kids, bro. Uh, and they're Life Orb. Alright, perfect. So, they probably have Knock Off. I think... We... Get to... Go into this. And just click Liquidation. Yeah. We just go into Rack when I click Liquidation. Like, there's a lot of things I could have done there. I think Raikou I could have Scalded as well, but I, I didn't want to give the um, Toxapex a free Toxic. But I guess this, in theory, does the same thing. Kind of gives Toxapex the free Toxic, but it's fine. We'll click Liquidation. They do U-Turn. Big, big U-Turn chip. Holy shit. But yeah, that being weakened is really nice. Once I can get Lapras in front of Pex, I feel like our, our opportunity to win goes up a lot. What mon can I... Oh, they go drill. Sir? You're going drill? On my Araquanid? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? Okay, we take those, man. We take those. Drill gone. I mean, now Thunderbolt on Raikou is Omega free. Uh, outside of Superior, of course. But that we are, that's already been confirmed to be Leech Seed. So we don't give a fuck. Anyways, they go out into this. I think I'm just gonna click, uh, which does more. I feel like I feel like liquidation kind of low key still does more. You'd be surprised with water bubble, like resist sometimes still do more than super effective hits, but that's not the case here. I meant I meant neutral hits, but this is super effective. So, anyways, we're gonna lose life. As they leave storm, probably could have caught them off guard with a mirror coat here, but this will do a decent amount of damage and put them in range of pretty much everything. So it's not oh there's shell bell instead of lefties. Okay, that's interesting. Not that big of a deal, guys. This is in range of Thunderbolt, I believe. And, oh my god, we actually get so much HP back. Do I want to keep this? The answer might shock you. It's no. This is still neutral. So close. I thought we could have lived. Actually, we just go out into Cinderace and U-turn. We don't got to play... We don't got to play any games here. We just go out into Cinderace and we U-turn. I would go into Raikou, but just in the off chance, they're like random Terra Ground. You know what I mean? We're just going to go into Cinderace and U-Turn. It's just the freest move. We're na we're always naturally faster. It's not that big of a deal. Lapras might not be able to do it, unfortunately. Unless they go Pex now. If they go Pex now, we probably could. Oh, they're going to Terra. Don't be Steel or Fire. I think even if it's Steel or Fire, we still kill them. It is, in fact... Okay, it's, it's, it's Stellar. They just wasted their Terra. Also, Steel or Fire, they still would have died. Until, unless they're max HP. But yeah, you're dead, bro. I, I don't know if they thought this might change their typing, but it doesn't. Unfortunately, it does not feed. So, anywho, we're going out into Lapras, guys. We're just going to do it. I'm going to check to see if after terrestrializing, does the guy die? <laughs> we're going into Lapras. Um, give it max attack. With close combat. Uh, if we tear a ground. We don't die. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. I want to do that. We're going to we're gonna get a kill with this guy. If they go Pex. We just we just tear a ground as well. And ju we just hit them. Let's see what they let's see what they end up going into. I assume it's going to be Infernape. I haven't teared yet right? Unless I'm tweaking. I don't think I have. Yeah Infern Infernape perfect. So they could totally U-turn here. But I am just going to Terra ground hit them 
I don't want to Dragon Dance because I believe a close combat into Mach Punch would knock us out. Um, Iron Fist. Like, I, I, 100%. Oh, wow, it actually, well, there's a roll, there's two rolls where it can. So, yeah, otherwise I would, but I'm just going to click EQ. It's just my best bet. It's just my best bet. This is where I wish I was, like, a fighting resist, but, you know, I wanted to go Terra Ground because I thought it would be really nice to get off Terra Ground boosted EQs. And now we don't got to worry about the pecs doing anything crazy because we are, in fact, um... Oh, well, this is great. Well, this is fine. This is actually so fine, too. We'll just kill the pecs. <laughs> That's fine. We'll just kill the pecs. We will just two-hit KO the pecs. That is perfectly fine. Not a big, not a big deal. If this doesn't Oko, we'll two-hit KO for sure. But I feel like it might. We are max attack. <laughs> Base 85 attack. We're max attack on Lapras. Let's go. Come on, hit him with it. Ooh, so close. What do we think they're going to do? They didn't Baneful Bunker at all the last couple times. I kind of want to just Dragon Dance. So I'm going to do it. Ah, oh, they didn't Baneful Bunker. Unfortunate. It's fine. If they recover for some reason, we can buy off an EQ. But they probably just Toxic, if I had to guess. Oh, they recover. Perfect. Perfect. I think now we kill them. Amazing. Let's go. Hell yeah. That's why you Dragon Dance, guys. Lapras did it. Let's fucking go. Get him with a Lapras. Get him. Let me, let me kill the Pex. Let me kill the Pex. Oh, let me do it with Dragon Dance Lapras. Come on. Let's go, baby. And we're definitely out of range of Mach Punch. And we definitely will be hitting that Infernape. Let's fucking go, man. You love to see it. You love to see it. I love to see it, at least. Are we faster? Oh, yeah. We're definitely faster. Oh, wait. Because I know we're not faster than... I guess it's base 120, we're not faster then. Alright, well, let's go. Good shit. Good stuff. Good stuff. And Lapras getting the final KO. Let's go, man. I'm su I'm super surprised it actually worked. It only took a few battles, too, to get uh, Dragonite's Lapras to pop off. You love to see it. Hey, man, sometimes... Sometimes you gotta bring those niche sets. Like I said in the first battle, Dragonite's Lapras was doing crazy stuff in Generation 8. Um, I only really, like, viewed... Draft League formats type of battle, so there was a few opportunities where a, a guy was able to use Dragon Dance Lapras quite successfully in those Draft League matches. But yeah, I mean, that's going to be it from us today. Um, if you all like what you saw, and you saw what you like, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comment section down below any other new Pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future. Let us know that in the comment section down below. With that being said, I'm going to get bad here. If you all like what you saw, and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.